welcome to my channel today i'm be reviewing the fenty beauty line and if you want to know what i think about this and keep on watching four thing guys 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 thank you for 400 subscribers <laughs> Thank you guys, thank you so much for the love and support. It was, like, when I woke up this morning, I saw, like, I was literally crying. Thank you so much. Y'all don't know how much this means to me. I love you guys. <laughs> hey guys, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is try the Fenty Beauty Primer. Um, this is expensive. I did try this before, so. Who the fuck text me? This is how the packaging looks. It's a very beautiful. It says Fenty Beauty. It has a nude cap. It says Fenty Beauty. And it's so pretty. And it has 1.08 fluid ounces, which is a lot. So we're going to apply this with our hands. So I'm pump some on my hand. One, two. It is like very liquidy. It's like a lotion, basically. And I'm going to apply this all over my face it does say it's a matte primer but i feel like it's moisturizing my face only because it's like so liquidy this is how the packaging look it looks like this is all black this is fancy beauty on the review this is how the primer and that looks together this is how the foundation looks like it has a white bottle and it's a fancy beauty and you get the same amount as the primer, so 1.08 fluid ounces. Um, in the back it says shake well, so yeah, shake. Okay, this does dry very quick, like very fucking quick. So I gotta fix my mirror, push my hair back, and I did not get the beauty sponge because it was sold out. Everything was sold out basically, so yeah. So I'm gonna just use my real technique beauty sponge but I heard the sponge is pretty good so if you want to get them and get it I ain't got to get it so we're gonna apply we're gonna apply one pump oh this is the shade I have the shade 260 so we're gonna apply this and blend this cuz you really don't want to be talking when doing this cuz it dries very fast which it's the only thing I don't like about this, how it dries fast. This color, I know, is too white for me. I tried this at Sephora, and bitch, I thought it was my color, but it wasn't. So, obviously, you can tell the difference. Um, but we're going to bronze up, so it's okay. You know, freaking Sephora and their badass lighting and my badass choice. Said, okay, the reason why I picked this shade, they say because it de deoxides. It does, but I thought it will like get darker more, but it doesn't. So, yeah. Now, for concealer and bronzer, I did not buy any because, as I said, everything was sold out. Like, the first day it came out, I tried to get it. It was sold out. They said it was restocking Tuesday. I went. It sold out. So... Yeah, don't, I only got three stuff, so we're going to move to what I got next. So, for highlighter, I got the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife because this is like the most hyped up stuff. So, this is how it looks. So, this is the package. Let me focus it. This is a highlighter, and let me open it. It's white, and it says a Fenty Beauty. It won't focus, so I don't know why. And it looks like this. It has a mirror and it says a Fenty a Beauty. Cool. Ooh. I think this works for my face, to be honest. Like, for my. Okay, this foundation is too pale for me, but as you can see, my neck is like an olive tan color. So I think this is why it works and looks good on my skin. But I feel like if you're like paler, um, I feel like it will leave like a cast on you, in my opinion. But it works perfect for an eyeshadow, like it really does. Like, I'm also gonna use this highlighter to go right here in um, like in my lid. So yeah, and it's so beautiful. Like, 
I'm gonna finish doing the rest of my face and I'm gonna tell you how I feel about everything. So overall, I really do think everything was amazing. I really love the highlighter. This highlighter, the Fenty Beauty, the Trophy Wife. I love this highlighter. The other one that's really good is like Hustle Baby. That one's really good. I tested out in stores and recommend that. For the primer, it says it keeps you matte. Like it's a matte primer. <laughs> I feel like it does keep your face like matte. Because I wore this at school, like this makeup, well not exactly, but the primer foundation. And like I usually get like really oily around here. And like it pretty, like it stayed matte. Like, so yeah. The foundation on the other hand though, um, I, the only bad thing I have to say about this is it dries really quick. Because the first time I apply this, like I usually put my foundation everywhere. And then I was blended this side, and when I got to this side, it was already dry, so I had to like, you know, redo it. So that's the only bad thing I have to say, but otherwise than that, this foundation is good. And be careful on the foundation color you pick, because my dumbass picked a lot of foundation that doesn't even match my neck. Match my neck. It doesn't even match my neck. So, yeah. If you are paler, you can use it as an eyeshadow. Let me lift up my bangs. You can use it as an eyeshadow if you want, or I mean, you can do what you want. For lip gloss, this is basically how the lip gloss looks. Um, I just mix um, taupe from MAC, the lipstick, and I just put this lip gloss, like any clear lip gloss, and this is how it basically looks. As I said, everything was sold out, so I couldn't get to everything. So, yeah.